seconds and counting. Wait. Hey, hey barbecue family. family! How is everybody doing? Okay, we're there on Instagram, we're there on YouTube. How are you guys? What's going on? It is Friday. Guys, it is Friday. It's a hot one here today. We already have the grill fired up and it's making it super extra hot. And I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it kind of sounds like there's like laser quest going on in the background over there. Because there is construction. We are in Maddie's neighborhood. That is very loud. But we're going to pretend to ignore it. We're going to pretend to ignore it, but we're not going to pretend to ignore our fabulous barbecue friends who are already tuning in. We have Barbecue Manny saying, hey, Manny and Kiki. We have S. Will tuning in. We can't see the comments over on YouTube. Barbecue Pops is working <laughs> our stream today. We need to have the comments over there so we can see who is on with us. But guys, whoever is here today, you came to a fabulous episode. Okay, first and foremost, so I want to raise the roof a little for Barbecue Pops. Yeah, Barbecue, barbecue Pops you gotta in the house. house. Oh, there we go. There, there we go. Chat. We got Char Griller. We got Tom's Food Factory. We got Fritz Frank, Andrew Lee, and our barbecue brother, Scoggin. Hey, guys. Kiki wants to dance already. We haven't even kicked off the dance, and she's hi-hatting all over the place. Okay, we've got a lot of people coming on Instagram, too. Hey, guys. What's going on? Trumpet, Trumpet Master. Master. Who too? Trumpet okay. Master, are you new here? Are you new to our, to our page here? Okay, Trumpet Master, that's why we got these aprons on to make your life easier because a lot of people mix us up. I'm Kiki. This is my sister, Maddie. If you mix it up, we're cool with that. It's backwards on Insta, though. But okay. that's all right. Madwood Barbecue's in the house. Everyone is already here. Everyone's already tuning in. We know why you guys are here, though. We know you you come for the food, and you also come for the awesome Friday dance. Okay, I want to know if people are singing it with us. I, I'm hoping they are, guys. And I can almost hear everybody singing it wherever they are. Uncle Chico saying it's Friday. Kiki's getting freaky already. She already is. She I couldn't, already I is. couldn't contain it, guys. I really couldn't because this menu is so incredible. But before we go on, though, and tell you what the menu is. I would like to do the Friday song. Yeah, let's kick it off. We have Mr. Art Harris tuning in. We have Steve, the Greek Sheik. We waited for you guys. Are you guys ready for Hi, this? Steve. Okay. Are the construction workers ready for this? Because they're about to hear it. Okay, they are ready? about to hear it. Get your pipes up. Here we go. Friday, Friday. Yes, it's Friday. Oh, yeah. Daniel Gordon's tuning in. He's saying, dance, dance, baby. I Hi, love it. Dan. I love it. Dan, did you sing and dance with us? Because we hope you did. Okay, so side boys in the house. Guys, are you hey working guys. today? I love those boys. We love them. We love everybody tuning in today. Guys, this is a locked and loaded episode. We absolutely okay. say that every week because we're bringing you locked and loaded episodes every single week. Yeah, and this one actually is like barbie or sorry, pickles times a thousand because pickles are the barbecue quest secret ingredient of the week. We've had a ton of people making stuff with pickles already. We've had pickle shots. We've had bacon oh, wrapped pickles. Goodness, the pickle shots. We've had bacon, uh, bacon cheeseburger pickle sliders. Like people have gone nuts on the pickles. S will definitely wins the award for fastest fastest post today. Uh, we announced it on Monday. I'm gonna say 10 a.m. I think I think S will had it on, posted up at 10 01. I don't know how he does it, that guy. I really really don't. So I'm gonna be making some smoked deviled eggs with pickles inside as well as pickles on the top. And some dill. We've got the dill pickle thing going on. Okay, the, the wasps and the flies seem to like it. They're excited. They're super Scoggin excited. Scoggin is saying Barbecue Alley. He's saying he loves it. Scoggin, we love you. How are you feeling, Scoggin? How is Mrs. Scoggin doing? It's always so nice to see you guys. We've got Madwood Barbecue. It, oh, okay, wow. It is a hot one in here today. Friday. <laughs> okay, I always struggle opening this thing. But you that just have to get attention, don't that you? That just kind of... I was talking and Maddie was like, let's explode it. Here I am. Because <laughs> that's my fault. How is that my fault? It's, it's the way I'm going to play Mother Nature on that one. Okay, are you going to tell people what you're making now that you've got the attention on you? Okay, I. <laughs> this is going to be, everybody, a monkey bread, but not just any monkey bread. We have, we are making a savory monkey <sighs> bread. And again, we're coming with you. We're coming at you with pickle, pickles and pickles and more pickles. And so it's going to be loaded with our PVC toppings here. So we have our pickles. We got some bacon. When I say some, check it out, everybody. That's a pound of bacon That's from a lot of bacon. A lot of bacon. And then the C stands for cheddar. 
And we're going with an aged cheddar today. You can really smell it out here. It smells fabulous. Oh, that smells so, so good. That is going to be awesome. I love a good monkey bread. I, I really do. Who doesn't? Do. Does, has everybody here had a monkey bread? Uncle Chico saying mad bust and those biscuits shocked the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> that shocked me. Yeah, that shocked I think me. it surprised you. I'm awake. I'm awake now, everybody. Okay, so are you going to get started first or can I get going on the, on the eggs? I'm going to get started first okay. because then this is going to, I'm my part, this is going to take a little while. Okay, I'm just going to chill then and talk to our friends. Maddie's getting her biscuits ready. That wasn't code for anything. <laughs> S. Will, don't get started on it. That's what she said. It's too early in the morning for that. Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue in the House. Hi, Smoking Joe. Where's Chantel? Chantel, VIP Chantel usually has been coming a little bit later. Oh, yeah, right. She's eating in her the lunch. Okay. She's having lunch. Hi, Tri Tip Junkie. Nice to see you guys. We've had a locked and loaded house today. We really do. Cooking with CJ. CJ? Oh, Steve is saying, the Greek chic is saying, is your throat better, Kiki? Steve, I can't even believe you remembered that. It is slightly better. It's still, I don't know if you guys can hear, it's still kind of raspy. It's been hurting and it's taken all my power to not talk as much this week. We've been trying to rest it a lot. And Maddie and I have been doing this conference online. And so it's been good because I've had the opportunity to rest it. But you know us, we can't stay quiet for long. We can't, but I've been talking enough for the both of us. Ain't that I'm the not, truth. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed to admit it. Maddie does do quite a bit of talking, but thank you so much for asking the Greek Sheik. And on, on that note, while we have the Greek Sheik, we were actually debating whether or not we should call barbecue pops barbecue papuli in honor of anyone who is greek in the house i think we're not greek chic is um part italian i thought he said oh steve are you half greek half italian is that what i it? think that's what he said okay well i i vote for barbecue papuli even though we are not greek but i think that name's cool i think barbecue papuli goes i like it just go with it honey i like just go okay. with it that's we gotta good. ask barbecue pops if he's cool with that and the greek chic he's saying maddie always talks enough for the both of you see it's true that is true Cooking with CJ, you guys need a fan on you keep those flies away yeah we do you that's know what a really good that's a really good tip but nothing keeps them away around here okay so guys what we're doing so let me just get started so okay we can rock and roll on our eggs so we have some pillsbury biscuits i'm gonna guess a lot of people tuning in right now probably has one of those canisters in their fridge probably who doesn't like to keep one of those on hand in their fridge and this is a great way to use it and have some fun with it you know take it to the next level so all we're doing is getting a biscuit, cutting it in half here, we're, we're cutting it into quarters. And then what we're gonna do, because people here who know what a monkey bread is, a monkey bread is typically sweet, but yeah. we're doing a savory one. So it typically is dough rolled in cinnamon sugar, but because this is savory, check this out everybody, okay? This is a ranch packet seasoning. That is gonna be so, so good. And so, oh, also, so we just lost some in the wind there. I saw that. I don't know if you guys could see that blowing away, but Barbecue Pops is getting an eye full of ranch seasoning right now. <laughs> He's getting a little taste, a little early taste. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is roll that in just like just like um what, how you would roll in your cinnamon sugar. So, so we're cool. just gonna roll it in like that. And then what we're gonna do is put it in a buttered bun pan. That is gonna be so, so cool, guys. And what I love about this is that it is super, super easy. Yeah. You can, those things are like one of the best bargains of the grocery store. Those canisters, totally. those Pillsbury canisters. Totally. And you don't even have to use um, biscuits. You could even do like any of those. I think all the doughs are very similar. You could use a pizza dough for this, but Bay State Barbecue is saying the best monkey bread is at Karen's Bakery in Linfield. Is that Massachusetts? Because Minnesota? I don't know. No, how that's definitely not Minnesota. It's There's not? a in there. Yeah, it's the first and last okay, letter. Oh, no, Minnesota. If it is, guys, I, we're Canadian. Yeah, I'm sorry. We don't know. I'm sorry. My apologies. I think that is Minnesota. Bay State saying you guys are gonna rival it though. Okay. Bay State, you are so super sweet. I hope this one holds up to Karen. I well, it is savory, so I think that by default makes it better because I think savory <laughs> things are awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna get started on the egg. So we have got some good old boiled eggs right here, and a secret that we like to offer when we're boiling eggs is. A lot of people wonder how to avoid getting that dark um, ring around the yolk that a lot of people get. Yes, has anybody here experienced that before? It happens, it tends to happen. And it's just like a reaction, there's nothing wrong with your eggs. It's not saying that your eggs have gone bad, but it's not really that appealing. So what we like to do is start them off in cold water, fill them up, 
bring them to a boil for eight minutes exactly. Exactly eight, not a second later, not a second earlier. No, and then you wanna plunge them into some ice water, let them sit until they're cold enough to touch. So I've peeled all of these, and then I have the last one here to show you guys. Give it a little tappy tap. And as you do that, I gotta say, Char Grower is saying, Ranch Blowing in the Wind sounds like a Kansas song. <laughs> I, you know what? I think he's mentioning Dust in the Wind, and I, I think Ranch Blowing in the Wind sounds better. That is odd. That would be Who a Who doesn't really love Kansas? That sounds okay. like a good country Kiki, song. That's one of Kiki's favorite bands, actually, believe it or not. I can't believe you remember that. Buddy, I know everything about you. How yeah. are you saying you can't believe that you remember That's that? True. That is yeah, true. Yeah, C-Mac Cooks to your nanny saying, hi, ladies. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, C-Mac Cooks. Thank you for tuning in. There's all kinds of delicious smells happening back here, but you know what's happening with what smells the most right now? What? It has such a delicious aroma. What's the that? bacon. Yes, and the grill, because we've got some hickory on there, because we are going to be um, so, so kind of hot smoking these eggs. We've got a pretty hot grill going on. We're a fan of the, the hot and fast method, guys. I don't know yes. if you are, but we do like the low and slow kind of thing too. But every now and then we like to crank it up, give it some heat, give it some juice. It's Friday around here, everybody. Okay, so I'm gonna go in, start cutting these in half. And you'll notice the yolk starts popping right Show out. Show it up over there. Let's see it, everybody. Look so at how good that looks. You can see the yolk just sticking to the knife. And then all we're gonna do is just take the yolk, add it to a bowl, and then Get the rest of the remaining yolk. But and look just... at how gorgeous that is. If that's not a picture perfect colored yolk, I don't know what it is. There is no black hue to it. There's no gray hue to it. And that's because of the cold, the ice cold water. Absolutely. And it comes out super easy. We'll show our, our Instagram fam. Just pop those out, add the yolk to a bowl. And you want to make sure you're doing this when they are cool because if they're not cool, it makes it very difficult to pop that yolk out. Poker Brat Barbecue's in the house. He's saying hi, ladies. Hello, Poker Brat Barbecue. Happy Friday. You guys know, first of all, thank you guys all for being here. And if you're new here, you might not know this, but we like to talk about what we're grateful for every single Friday. We've been going live now every single Friday for, I'm going to say almost the whole, I'd say like six months. It's been a while. Six months, maybe longer than that. And we like to hear what you guys are grateful for as well. It's such a great way. It's so positive. It's a nice way to enter into the weekend. Yeah. And no matter what's going on in your life, in your neck of the woods, there's always something to be grateful for. Absolutely. We've got, I'm grateful Kathy's here. Hi, Me Kathy. Too. Hi, Kathy. Kathy said she's going back to work, but Kathy is the one who actually made the hash brown pickle sliders so and and someone just fritz frank just asked on youtube who made the pickle shots uh, it was actually a woman named lil Sue mama over on instagram she aka made, lsm we call her lsm for sure <laughs> we love our girl lil Sue mama she made pickle shots that looked awesome they were super cheesy i saw those first thing in the morning but while i had my coffee and i could have eaten them i, I could go i don't believe in things at certain times of the day i did not care either Okay, so guys, before we jump into our gratefuls, we're going to have Kiki hit us with, our, with her first okay. grateful. But this is what's happening right now in our bun pan. So we have a layer here of the, the, um, the biscuits that we have that are just rolled in the, um, the ranch seasoning. We'll show Insta, our Insta family over there. Okay, and so now here's where we get into the fun part, okay? So this is going to be a layered um, dough dish. So now we're going to go in with some cheese here. And when I say some cheese, again, we're going in hot and heavy with the cheese. <laughs> that's, that's more than some. Also, <laughs> fine grating, honey. Kiki, Why, thank you. Kiki prepped all of our food today, and I hate cheese grating. I don't know if anyone else here hates to grate cheese. I hate it. We always joke that you get a little bit of mad in every bite because she gets her hands in the grater. <laughs> yes, I always I always <laughs> need a little bit. So, honey, you, you probably had a little bit of Maddie in every bite. I don't know if you should be bragging about that. That's quite disgusting. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to go in with our bacon here. Ooh. Yeah, wait. it's looking so delicious, smelling so delicious. S. Will saying it looks yummy. Guys, we wish we could share this with you. Okay, Uncle Chico saying it was National Dog Day yesterday. Hugs and kisses to little Lupita. Thank you so much, Uncle Chico. I added a picture of her to the story. She's hanging out with Barbecue Mama today. She's probably watching right she now. She probably is. She's probably hearing her name and that Uncle Chico said that and feeling very grateful. Our our friend Eva Lama is saying he's grateful for being alive. Amen to that. That's Eva such Lama. a good one. We're all we, everyone tuning in today. We all made it here today. We all made it here today. <laughs> and I think I saw pickles in the house. I feel like this is the unofficial 
episode dedicated to pickles. Barbecue. It is. It has to be. It's pickles overload today. I think he would appreciate this too. Okay. That guy knows some good food. He does. He really, really does. So now we're just going in with a layer of pickles, a layer of, of red onion. This is what it looks like, guys. We'll show the camera up here, and then we will show the camera here. And then all what we're going to do is now continue the layering. That continue is going to be so good. That's one heck of a layer. And what I love about doing a monkey bread is it's good to utilize anything, any sort of bits and pieces you yes. have left kicking in the fridge. It's like a bun pan pizza. It is. It really is. But also I feel like better because there's more flavors going on. Char girl are saying Maddie grates cheese Hannibal Lecter style. You know what? Yes, she does. I'll own it. I'll own it. I like that. I, I like that. That's quite nasty, guys. Yeah, it, it is quite nasty. <laughs> it is, but it's the truth. Okay, so can I keep going? Is are we still talking about the monkey bread or can I keep going? Um, first of all, Brian <laughs> is saying, why does the set look different today? Are we still at Maddie's? Brian, first of all, thank you for being here. We are still at Maddie's, but the set looks different over on YouTube. And anybody watching on Insta, if you want to head over to YouTube to get more of a, a dynamic look and shot here today, because we have not one camera, not two cameras, but we got three cameras today. We have it one there. We have one off to the side getting our, our table shot here. And then, of course, you guys know we've been obsessed with the grill cam ever since we introduced the grill cam yes. a couple weeks ago. So we're coming to you with the grill cam. Let's just see what's going on over there, even though there's nothing on your shirt right now. <laughs> there's really nothing going on except for the fact that it is a grill cam. And, ooh, it's hot. I just got yeah, blasted in my hot. face. That is hot. That is smelling fantastic already. I can't wait to get these eggs on. Great question, though, Brian. Great yeah, question. very great question, Brian. So I'm going to keep going on our deviled eggs. We've got the yolk in here. And I'm just mashing these up with a very tiny spatula here because we're going to add in quite a bit of delicious flavor. So I'm just going to move this yeah, over. The boss are fighting me for this monkey bread, everybody. They are absolutely fighting me. Yeah, they want some. They do. They know how to share. Thing Give them a little it. taste. Okay, Uncle Chico said, still love the bomb cam. It's my favorite. Okay, the bomb cam. I don't really think that you can get the bomb cam today. I think it's that's not... the unofficial Maddie bomb cam. It's not because it's not on my bum. I think it's unofficially just on Maddie. Okay, good to know. Brian is hitting us with um with a good a good tip today. He said, cool. By the way, the sound is on point today. Really okay, good. Thank you for letting us know that, Brian, because we always like to hear what it sounds like on all the platforms. And if you guys can't hear it well that's something that we have to change so thank you for letting us know tom's food factory is saying who's working the cameras we've got barbecue papuli over there in studio one barbecue papuli everybody aka barbecue, barbecue pops <laughs> aka barbecue pops okay so guys now i uh, will show you what it looks like with our bun pan so now that's the remaining dough that's on the top here and then we're just going to put over finish the remaining ingredients on top and then it's gonna all bake together. We're gonna be cooking it over indirect heat on our grill. Oh, and yeah. And then it, does, it doesn't get easier than that. Cooking with CJ is requesting a flex for Ke from Kiki. <gasps> cooking with CJ, Kiki's that guy knows the us. way to my heart. <laughs> okay, got... wait, ready for cooking with CJ? This one's for you, okay? Three, two. Oh yeah. How's oh, that? Oh my goodness. How's that? Oh my goodness can you see, can you guys get? I don't know if you guys can get that action We're on We're in HD today. Are we? People are getting the action. Okay, I, I didn't even so. wait for the grill cam. That was that was just for you, CJ. That was just for you. Me and you had a moment there. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, oh, Scoggin. Sorry, Scoggin saying I've hickory smoked devil eggs before for a party, and they were the first things to go next to the jalapeno puppers. You know oh. what? People love these things, and they're so easy to make. Okay, so now speaking of these we're going to go in with a lot of the same flavors of our um, monkey bread we've got some bacon bits some red onion and we're going to go pickle times two on these so we're going to go chopped up pickle on the inside you could also go relish which is essentially just chopped up pickle Ooh, a relish would be good though if you're looking for more of like a little bit of a juicy a zing yep a juicy vibe so we're going to add in some dijon mustard for that zing that we were just talking about We've got some dill in here. <laughs> Tom's Food Factory saying Kiki's arms are twice the size of Charlie's. <laughs> Guys, if anyone doesn't know this, Pickles Barbecue is Charlie, and that's good to know. Apparently, you've got bigger arms than Charlie. Pickles. Are I Pickles in the house? I, he is in the house. I don't know if he's going to sit back and take no, that. No, I don't think but... he is either. Okay, so then for the barbecue rub for these eggs, we are going to use... We just got sent this this week, actually, Reed's Barbecue Rub. And this guy sent us a ton of rubs, and they he all really smell did. incredible. So we've got his um, his sticker up in the... Oh, oh, Lord. 
in the grill studio. Oh, this goodness. is smelling great. This one is the poultry seasoning. We've got salt, black pepper, smoked paprika. So we're gonna go a little heavy on that. And as Kiki starts to mix all, oh, she's coming and in with some with some mayo. Last thing is some mayo. And as Kiki does that, you know what, honey? I said you hit us with the first grateful, but okay. I'm gonna dive in. I'm oh. diving right in onto my gratefuls, okay? As my thunder is being stolen once again today on this Friday, Maddie. <laughs> Pickles is saying, hey man, I'm wiry, so much strength. <laughs> he's wiry, but he's got some strength, okay. <laughs> Okay, so guys, let's hear your gratefuls in the chat. What is everybody grateful for today? It's Friday, it's the end of the week. It's summertime here in Canada, which we're very grateful for the warm weather here. Oh, yeah. It's actually super hot today. But what I'm grateful for, and I feel like some people might agree with this. Okay, tell me. I feel like it. a lot of people might agree with this. I'm very grateful, grateful for dishwashers. Oh, okay. what an interesting direction. It's not something that you would think of. I, I think <laughs> that we take them for granted. Yes, oh but, yes. But you know what, guys? I, I feel like I run my dishwasher, but the amount of things oh. that we cook, it's at least twice a day. Yeah, oh my goodness, sometimes three times a day. And imagine if you got, I'm sure maybe some people in the chat are watching this and maybe they prefer washing dishes by hand. I know a lot of people find that soothing. I do not. Oh. I actually do not at all. I Maddie hates doing it. dishes. No, Maddie absolutely hates doing dishes, but it works out good for us because Maddie does the setup out here. I do the cleanup in there. I love it. And I, I love it. Lo I, I love that Kiki does that. But I'm so grateful for dishwashers because I was thinking the other day as I think I was possibly loading it for the third time because we had a shoot and it was like dishes all over the place. And I was just thinking, imagine how much time that would be if we didn't have a dishwasher. Oh, we would be wasting a lot of it our day. It saves so much time. Burley Boy Barbecue's tuning in. He's saying, what's up, ladies? What's up, Burley? Barbecue Man's doing a shout out to Burley too. Art Harris tuned in over on Insta. He's saying, oh. he is saying he's got to get ready for his radiation treatments. This is his last Friday of treatment. Yes, Art Harris. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. That deserves a round of applause to Art Harris. The yep. last radiation treatment this this Friday. That's what a incredible. thing to be grateful for, too. I'm now, grateful for that for, for Mr. Art Harris. Okay, so last time we talked about this, we tried to um, have Art Harris remember, if you get to ring that special bell, please take a video of that. Yes. You need to have video of that. That's something that you want to remember. I would like to see that because that is a moment that needs to be acknowledged. I agree. That is amazing. That's like, that is, that is such a happy thing for a Friday. Okay, so I'm going to start filling in our eggs. Great, grateful, honey. Yep. I and really as like you're that. doing that, Fritz Frank is saying, hell no, by hand dishwasher for life. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. Fritz Frank Pickles is saying, I always have to do dishes before I eat unless they go in the dishwasher. Okay, okay, I, I'm seeing that because I agree, guys. I, I feel like Pickles is saying that once you eat, the energy level drops down. So then yes. you get back up and like attack a, a thing of dishes. I know no, how that feels, you. guys. Okay, so can we just take a moment, please, and reflect on how perfect these little eggs look? They look incredible. I'm gonna get you your wire rack to put that on so that we can get those on the grill, but they look amazing. Little boats of heaven is what I like to call them, guys. Oh yeah. Okay, so you do wanna be careful though, because once you've taken the yolks out, you're, when you do smoked deviled eggs like this, you do have more filling than you did before, obviously, right? Because we've added in the pickles, all that mayo. So you do wanna pile them up a little tiny bit higher than, okay, can you sorry, just one second? Nutty. So, but that's the actual, that's like the best part of deviled eggs. Yes. Me, it's the filling. The inside. It's Big G. Hi, Big G. Happy Friday. It's nice to see you, Big G. He's tuning in from the UK. You know what? I can picture Big G in my head right now going, hello, my friends. Nice to see you. We've got Maddie and Kiki in the house. You can't listen to him without having a smile on your face. And that every single video, hello, my friends, at the or beginning. Or Kiki doing a Big G impression. That's even, that's even more, be that's better. I love Big G, he is so sweet. He is, he is amazing. He is really, really amazing. Okay, so very good grateful, honey. I like it. Um, Let us know what you guys are grateful for. I'm grateful Steli Grills and Chills just got into the house. He's saying hello all. Steli, thank you for being here today. We are anyone just arriving right now. We are making, um, what, what this is, is a monkey bread, but it's a savory monkey bread featuring the Maddie and Kiki's Barbecue Quest ingredient, pickles. Yep. And we are coming at you with pickles times, actually, this is like pickles times a million. This is pickle overload. Then we have our smoked deviled eggs loaded with pickles and dill. And we've got pickles in the house, which makes it even better. 
Okay. Ooh, pickles is saying you can also brine hard boiled eggs in pickle juice. Yes. Oh, yeah. that would be fantastic. Do a little a little pickled egg. See, pickles action. knows his food. He does. That guy always makes incredible, incredible eats. He really does. Okay, so honey, I already shared my first grateful. I'm not seeing a lot of gratefuls in the chat, guys. We want to see what you guys are grateful for. Honey, hit us with your first grateful okay. of the day. All right, so before I do that, somehow I've governed the appropriate amount of filling to each of these eggs, which is difficult to do. I'm super impressed by that. So look at perfect amount of filling. I started going a little heavier by the end because I realized I had That's some extra. That's always what happens. That's always what happens. The first ones are a little bit stingy and then they get nice and full at the end. Okay, so that's what's happened here. We're gonna put these on a wire rack only because it stops them from moving around as much. Once they hit that rack, Actually, can I have that cloth? I just want and to get... it's also because when you're putting things into the offset smoker, basically any grill, but into the offset smoker, you want to get the lid up, throw her in, and then get that lid down as quick as possible so you don't lose heat. Absolutely. Very, Brian very good is point. saying, I'm grateful for my Hoka running shoes. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly. <laughs> that have enough cushioning to keep me from too much pain in my knees when I run. Ryan, that's a fabulous recommendation. Ooh, I've never heard of those. those because, like, who doesn't have knee pain over the age of thirty? Oh, okay. Amen to that. Yeah. I've never actually heard of those, Brian. What what makes those different from regular running shoes is what I want to know. And also, I love the gratefuls too because yes. people, it's it's how we get to know the barbecue family. It's how the barbecue family gets to know each other. And what I'm getting, uh, Brian, a couple weeks ago shared that he was the president of his swim team. So we're, what we're learning about Brian is he's super athletic. Yes, very good point. Good memory. Okay, so I've moved these over so you guys can take a look. I'll show you what we're going to do before these hit the smoker, actually. So we're going to space them out so we can get some nice smoke surrounding all of our eggs here. Yes. And we did six eggs, which means we have 12 halves. And that's why these are great because if you're doing them for a party. 12 total. 12 total, 12 yeah. halves total. So if you're doing these for a party, they can feed a lot of people with like a dozen eggs. Because who's really eating more than a couple of these? Oh, I feel like I could eat that whole tray. All right, right so really never mind. Do. Brooklyn Scott's <laughs> tuning in. He's saying, hey, ladies. Hey, Brooklyn Scott. This this episode that you're tuning into today, it's a good one. Nice to it's see you, really, Brooklyn really Scott. Good. This is a really tasty one. Yes, it really is because you can't really go wrong with pickles. And we're going to add some more pickles to the top of these. Okay, let's add them to the top. And honey, let's hear your first grateful. Okay, so I'm just adding, this is a very, this is a tiny slice of a pickle, just so people know what's in here, in case they already didn't know. And you can never have too much pickles. And that really looks, can. look at how cute that looks. That looks amazing. Can you guys see this? Like, Fritz like Frank is saying, I'm grateful for bicycles because I'm not a big fan of jogging. Okay, so Fritz Frank, we actually did know that about Fritz Frank because Fritz Frank, we've seen your page, we've seen you. Fritz Frank goes all out. He wears the biking outfit too, Does he? which makes you nice and sleek. Wow. Much faster. So we did know that about Fritz Frank, but that is awesome because you can still get out there and be be athletic, but on a bike. Yes, that's true. I'd like nice to hear that the barbecue community is taking their health seriously. Yes. I love you want to balance bag. off all the barbecue food, right, everybody? Brooklyn Scott saying he loves me some deviled eggs. We hear you, Brooklyn Scott. Who doesn't love some deviled eggs, especially when they're smoked? Pickles is saying, I feel like I'm virtually there. Yes. yes that is that is definitely the goal. I as much as <laughs> as much as this is all virtual, we have a lot of setup here today. It does feel like we're all hanging out in the backyard, and that's what this is all about. We're channeling pickles with all these pickles that we're using today. <laughs> Okay, so I would like to share my grateful. I have not shared one yet today. Let's hear it. Okay, so the first grateful that I was thinking about this week, and I don't know if you guys can feel me on this one. Okay. I'm going to talk a little bit about rideage, okay? What do you drive? Oh, rideage. Yes. I okay. Was like, okay, so as in like your, your ride. ride. Okay, I did. <laughs> and I'm not talking about a caddy or a BMW or trying to impress but each maybe other. maybe we have some caddies or some BMW owners in the house. Okay, but I'm talking about, I personally feel super grateful for driving a pickup truck. And it is not fancy, guys, by any means. I have a 2010 <laughs> Nissan Frontier. She's just paid off. She's got a lot of kilometers oh, on her. Uh, shout out to the people who have paid off vehicles in the house. That's a good I just feeling. got there. I just got there. Okay, so... I'm, I'm just super grateful to be in my truck in the morning going for a cruise. And as simple as that sounds, on my drive over here today, I saw a guy, a full-grown adult, okay? I have to preface this with saying that. Okay. Driving a scooter, 
Okay, you you know what I'm talking about? The scooters that kids drive, where you have oh, a, cool. a thing and you're like with the leg down the side, okay, don't like a skateboard. Because I actually said I would look into getting one of those. But why? I found that very confusing. I think why it why we were talking about swings the other week. If it brings you joy, do it. And that's what made me think of this guy. I was exactly. like, exactly. He's doing his thing. Maybe he's always wanted to have a scooter. His ride is don't a scooter. Don't hate on that guy. I, I'm not. That's not the point of the story. I'm saying his ride is a scooter. He seems super, like he was very, very thrilled about the scooter. This guy looked like super happy to be on the scooter. And it made me just think like, okay, so look, people are weighing in. People are weighing in. We got a Dodge Ram owner in the house of 2005. Those Dodge Rams will last forever. Exactly. Madwood Barbecue, what color? And, color. and how many Kiki's rocking and rolling in the red? Yeah, and how many kilometers does that thing have? Because I feel like I just if you love what you drive, that's a good feeling. And I really, really do, guys. Scoggin calls his <laughs> his 2008 Chevy HHR sweet ride. He calls it the Scoggin mobile. <laughs> I love that. I love when people have names for their vehicles. My truck's name is Loveline. She's an old girl. She's a country girl. She likes to get dirty. She's got mud on her all the time. I, it's going to be a sad day when I have to give Lovely up. It is. But you know what would be a great name for a vehicle? What? It's also a great name for one of our VIP members. What? Mrs. Chantel just entered the house. Chantel, she's saying, I'm sorry, I'm late, but she's here. Chantel, thank you for being here. We're so glad that you just tuned in. We have S. Mill saying, that looks excellent, delicious. S. Kiki, and we're not monkeying around with that <laughs> S. We're with that cake, S. Maddie. Thanks, S. Will. S. Will's always coming at us with some sweet comments. He really is. Okay, so Steli, Grills and Chills are saying they also got a 2010 Chevy Tahoe. So, see, Ooh. I you I know you guys are feeling me. You guys all have the same kind of vehicles. They're not they're not the newest. They're not maybe not the shiniest, but you love them. Yeah, and I, you love driving in them. I drive a Jeep. It's a 2015. I'm gonna drive that thing until it's done. And Especially because I just paid it off. So please, last a couple more years. <laughs> That's something to be grateful for. Oh, Madwoods is white and black. Ooh. It's white and black. Okay, so guys, I'm loving learning all of every, what everybody's driving. That's Me too. That's really, really cool. But I'm actually going to go preheat our gas grill, okay? So because we're going to be cooking this over indirect heat. This is all, all we're doing is cooking it over indirect heat, and that's what baking is. Yes. Okay, so we're doing this on the grill. And we could even do it in there, but we don't have a lot of room going on in this grill. No, absolutely, because this is going to be taken up with our eggs. So, honey, you go preheat that one. I will get our eggs over on to the grill. Like I said, we are going to be smoking these hot and fast. Over on the grill, we've got our grill preheated to 400 degrees. Super hot. These eggs are not going to take very, very long in here at all. And you can actually leave these in for the length of time of your choosing, depending on how smoky you want them. So, Vanna White, if I could get you to open the lid. I'm on it. We're going over to the grill here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's set these in. We're going to put these right in the center because our heat source is nowhere in here. Our heat source is actually coming from the firebox off to the side. So these can chill, do their thing, relax out in there and not have to get, we don't have to be worried about overcooking these and getting them rubbery because that is something that can happen with smoked eggs if you leave them near the heat source, too close to the heat source. So we're gonna shut that down because okay, if you're smoking. looking, you ain't cooking. That is very true. And Scoggin, as a, can Scoggin get any more sweet? He said he got Mrs. Scoggin a ride, a 2017 Kia Sorento. Oh yeah. And he got it as a as a anniversary gift, brand new. That is so. Oh my goodness, Scoggin. Okay, so maybe that's the key to. Um, I think he said he's been he he and Mrs. Scoggin have been together for 25 years or 30 years. Maybe that's their secret. More than that, I think. Maybe that's the secret. A new a new ride. Maybe for that is their secret. So Brian is saying he's never heard of cooking deviled eggs this way. This is new. That's what he's saying. This is new to him. Brian, happy to have you learn something every time you visit our page. And we love, the reason we love doing deviled eggs this way is because you're just building in those layers of flavor. So while deviled eggs are perfect the way they are, we could stop there. Add in the smoke. You won't regret it. No, smoke is an ingredient. It's a flavor. Absolutely. Okay, so Brian is saying... That's Scog and always bragging about what a good husband he is. Yeah, but I feel like he's earned it. He said 25 years with me and Mrs. Scoggin, so he's allowed to say that. That deserves bragging rights. Once you hit the 25 mark, I think he's allowed to say what he wants. I think so too. Okay, so guys, now I'm going to share another grateful. We want to hear. So people are weighing in on some great gratefuls today. Okay, lay one on me, honey. What we want to hear some gratefuls over on Insta because we have the real 
Luna tuning in. DJ Luna tuning in. DJ we have, Luna. We have Beersford tuning in. Thank you guys for being here today. So my next grateful that okay. I want to share with you guys, I feel like you would agree with this, honey. I feel like Barbecue Pops would agree with this. Tell me if you guys agree with this. All right, I'm intrigued. There is nothing better than getting out of the shower and grabbing a nice oversized towel. Do you mean a bath sheet? I'm talking about a bath sheet, but even bigger <laughs> if you can find it. Even I, I can find I, it. I even would do um, what is like a what? What are the beach ones called? A beach towel? You want like a bath blanket? I want a bath <laughs> duvet cover. <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. Sometimes you go to hotels. And they give you their their bath towels are like that big. It's like a face cloth. And you're like you're cold. You're just out of the shower, and you're like trying to dry off. No, no. I need maximum coverage. Yes. I do agree with that. Guys, who agrees with that? Where are all the large, oversized towel fans at? Okay, well, I do because, and I, you know what? I need a solid three towels to be prepped out of the shower because I like one covering the waist, covering the top, covering the head. Three. I like three. Okay, wow. <laughs> Good thing we don't live together anymore, honey, because I don't want to do that one. That's what I want. It certainly is. Cooking with CJ saying he's grateful for Mrs. CJ. She's a trooper for putting up with me. You know what, guys? All the spouses are equally troopers for putting up with each other. We were talking earlier this week. How difficult is it sometimes to live with another human being? Okay? <laughs> yes. how, how difficult can that be sometimes? It certainly is for a multitude of reasons. But I feel like CJ would be easy to live with. He's a sweetheart. I know. Unless there's a side of CJ we don't know. But CJ, from what I've seen of you, you look like a sweetheart. Okay, Chantal is saying, I'm grateful that I'm going back to school to in-person learning. Senior year is coming, and I'm really excited. I miss the interaction with my peers. Oh, my goodness, Chantel. That is super exciting. I can't imagine what the students have had to deal with these days. Chantel, so you're going to grade 12. Is that right? So this is your prom is that senior? year? Is senior. That senior year? Yeah, that's right. I think Prom Chantel. year. I love that you describe it as prom Because everybody knows the best thing about senior year is prom. So, Chantel, that is super, super cool. Congratulations. <laughs> We've got... DJ Bubba 559 asking, what are you queuing? I'm glad you asked, DJ Bubba. We've got some savory monkey bread. It's got cheddar. It's got onions. It's got bacon. And we've also got some smoked deviled eggs. Let's take a look at the Let's grill cam. go up to the grill cam. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. I know we keep saying if you're looking, you ain't cooking. You shouldn't be lifting that lid. But we <laughs> want to show you guys what that looks like. That's smelling incredible already. They haven't got any color on them yet. That's what we're looking for is a little bit of darkness around the white part. That's why we got to get that lid down. Okay, Maddie's told me. But I guys, get the lid Kiki down. said we're making a monkey bread. Is anybody here who's watching right now, does anyone know where the term monkey bread actually comes from? You know what? That's a good question. I don't think I actually know where. where. Okay. Well, it's actually it's something that actually, it sounds like why it would be called that. You know, sometimes things have such an obscure name and you're yes. like, why is it called that? No, this one actually is called that because you know how monkeys go and they like groom each other? Yes. This is called monkey bread because you're going and like you, you look, look like a squirrel though. <laughs> I you know. Look like you're digging do, nuts. Do monkeys go and do that noise? I don't I don't know. I love do. this adorable sound effect that you're providing too, Matt. It's like it is this guys, it sounds like Maddie is digging nuts like I a squirrel. I don't think that was monkey. I think that maybe this is called squirrel bread. Okay, maybe it's squirrel bread. I feel like that would fit it better. <laughs> but doesn't that make sense? Monkeys groom, they eat like that, and this thing is like a pull apart bread. Very cool. Yeah, I Matt thought it was taking cool. us to school. I thought it was cool. I like it. Very, very cool. I did not know that. Chantel is saying, yes, senior year. So she is going to prom. Chantel, I'm gonna, gonna need to see a prom picture. I would it's like to see that dress. Yes, I was gonna say in that dress she's gonna or, look. Or I feel like some people might not even be doing doing dresses these days. They might be going in a nice, a nice dressy suit. True. For girls, I feel like it's like anything goes these days. Uncle Chico saying, "Happy Friday, my sister. My sister's uncle is out. Time to recipe create for some new tacos." Okay. You know what, Uncle Chico? You go do that because we want to see your tacos. Yes, Uncle Chico is the king of tacos. He really is. And speaking of taking us to school, he always does. He always has some very good background information. Yes, he does on where those tacos come from. Barbecue Beach in the house. How's it going? Thank you Happy for joining Friday, us. Happy Friday, Barbecue Beach. Cooking with CJ is confirming. Yes, it did in fact sound like a squirrel. See, fine, absolutely this nailed is it. Squirrel bread. This okay, is so you're getting bread. that on. Yeah. Okay, so I did preheat the grill, and guys, just like if you were to be baking in the oven, the barbecue family knows you've got to preheat that grill. Okay, so normally we'd say you've got to preheat it for a little bit, um, for around ten minutes. But I feel like it's super hot out here today, so I feel like that thing is ready to rumble. I feel like you could bake that in this air. 
I'm know, baking them here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get this onto the grill. But guys, we are so happy that you guys came and joined us here today. It's been a blast. Yes, this has been so much fun, guys. It's twelve thirty-nine. How is it already twelve thirty-nine? Do I have time it for goes one more grateful? Like yes, can I can do this one more grateful? grateful while this is going on? Okay. So, okay, Greek Sheik saying he's peacing out. He has to run. Take care. Greek Sheik, nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining us, Steve. We will see you next week. Don't forget to check back on the finished monkey bread on the story on Instagram. AKA squirrel bread. Squirrel bread. I, I like made that a better. disaster as usual. Okay. Absolutely a disaster. Good thing. What? He's cleaning it up. Hit us with your next grateful. You are a squirrel. <laughs> You're eating the nuts, making a big mess everywhere. S Bill's taking off. He's saying ciao, S Maddie and Kiki. T J I F F. Workout is done now. He needs to get a cold one. Hopefully he's got a big a big bath towel going. <laughs> S Will, I hope you do. He needs a big one to cover those big pipes he's yes, got. He he's got huge pipes. Okay, so my last grateful before we peace out and before we get cleaned up here because Maddie's made a giant mess. Sorry. This morning I was very grateful to get myself in the get going in the morning. Okay. With a good hype song. So a hype song. A hype song. So I wanted to talk to you guys about hype songs and if you get yourself going in the morning with one. And if so, what is it? So good, gratefuls good are like things, gratefuls that are things you're, you are grateful for, things you're excited about along those lines. So tell me what your hype songs are. This is what I'd like to know. Okay, that's your putting me on the spot, but I'm going to say anything by ZZ. Anything okay. by ZZ. Okay, I'm not surprised. Good luck. If you put that on and that doesn't hype you up, you are not alive. You are not alive. Okay, I'm going to give, give you mine. Yeah, I want to hear yours. It's unexpected. Okay. It's unexpected. Okay. You guys ready for this? I'm excited. What is it? I believe I can fly. What? No. I believe I no, can touch No, she's not sky. coming at us with a cow song. I think about cow. it every night and day. Hey. What? Okay. I spread my wings and fly away. R. Kelly. Okay, I know you can say a lot of things about no. R. Kelly. Okay, no. I get it. I do. No, not a fan of that and not a fan that it's slow. Okay, no, I get that. But that I'm song. I'm a fan of the singing. Chantel's feeling me. Chantel, I knew I, knew I could rely on Chantel in that song. <laughs> Chantel, please sing that song That's for me. a very unexpected hype song. <laughs> okay, but the message in that song, it tells you that you can do anything and you can get out there and you can kill that day. No, okay, I see where you're going with it. CJ said it's he's going to light her up. It's, <laughs> it's too slow, buddy. It's too slow. <laughs> no. But I see the point. The message is there. Mom's saying no, R. Kelly. Mom, I'm with you on that. Just Barbecue Mama, yes. Disregard that it's R. Kelly. <laughs> he's got some bangers. He he's, does. You could really say a lot about that. Put him away. No, put him away. The song. I'm just. It, I like the Kiki version. Okay. Okay, I would like to hear Chantel. Chantel, please, I'm putting in a request. Please do a video of that song for me. I would like to hear it. I know she could rock that song. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Bart, Brian is saying, it just seems weird since I've never tried it. See, sweet seems better to be made without smoke. Brian, we, you got to try it, okay? Sweet paired with smoke, it just takes it to the next level. Absolutely. It really, really does. It's something that I feel like, yeah, people are curious about, but once you try it, you will always want it. We make everything on the grill. We've, we've made like anything you would think of, guys. We've done creme brulee out here. We've done anything sweet. Just because, like Manny said, since smoke is an ingredient, you don't want to overpower sweets for sure because then it's going to be too smoky. You don't but... want to come out of, out of creme brulee with a mesquite. <laughs> no, no way. No, that's unless that's your thing. Like the bottom of that barbecue, if you do that. What if someone likes that? <laughs> you could, if you, if you if you like that, go for it. But I, I don't think that that would be the best flavor profile there. Okay, Scoggit is saying, Mrs. Scoggit once broke out in song, and I told her this group has done this song for over 50 years that her help, and don't need any help now. She just looked at me and kept on singing. Oh, good for good Mrs. Job, Mrs. Scoggit. And Scoggit, that is hilarious. <laughs> but see, he's allowed to say that to her because they've been married for 25 and years. And that is the kindest way to say, shut your mouth. <laughs> it really is. Okay, guys. <laughs> One last look at the grill cam. Let's check on these eggs. Let's check and see if they have some color on them. Oh, oh they're, slightly, yeah. they're slightly starting to color. We're there. getting there. We are slightly getting there. We're going to leave these on for oh, a little bit goodness. longer. I just got hit with the smell. That looks fanta or it smells fantastic. Okay, so we are going to check back in with us later, guys. We're going to show you what these look like. Once they have been smoked a little bit longer, we'll be adding um, pictures and a little bit of video over to our Instagram story. Um, and just hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And we really hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. This has been an absolute blast. We always say that every single week, but we are not joking when we say we literally look forward to this. 
every single week. And the second that this is done, we're like, okay, what are we going to make next week? I know. What are we going to make next week? We cannot wait to do it every single week. Yeah, so have a great weekend, guys. Don't forget to tune back in to see that finished monkey bread. That's what I'm looking People forward to. People are hitting most. us with some hearts over there. Yeah, give us those hearts, everybody. If you're on Instagram, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that notification bell if you want, because then you will never miss any of our videos, because that is what it's all about. That is what it's all about, everybody. And we will see you guys next week with some other delicious barbecue goodies. I don't even want, we're not even gonna tell them what we're making no, yet. No, not yet, okay. not yet. Not yet, okay. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody.